Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz, and from outside the fortress of the Castle Gate, I'd like to welcome you back to the adventures of Sekiro. Last time on the game, we narrowly eluded the clutches of the Great Serpent of the Valley, who wanted nothing more than to make our intrepid lone wolf protagonist here a quick morning snack. To say it was a harrowing experience is uh, quite the understatement, especially considering we had a witness to the entire ordeal, and he is not impressed. <laughs> He's demanding his money back. My man, are you not entertained? How long have you been here? Have you always just been hanging out at this ledge? All right, well, I'm sorry to say, but I cannot take my performances to be taken under uh, criminal considerations. Wow, I really kind of goofed on that, didn't I? I really screwed the pooch. There we are. This damn assassins. Oh, and apparently he was hoarding the Sears catalog on herbs. According to denizens of the Sunken Valley, such places are appropriate for offering oneself in marriage to the Great Serpent. If one wishes to become a bride, they must enter the belly of the serpent. All right, well, I don't think I'm wrong when I say this, but I think we found the uh, red pill, tin foil hat wearing assassin amongst us all. Well, in the last part, we also ended up fighting a couple of mini bosses, and upon exploring more of the outskirts of Ashina, we found ourselves completely and utterly cursed. There was a demonic spirit sealed within the Iron Bell of Sampu Temple, and we never cleared it. So, you know what? I want nothing to do with that, especially in this upcoming boss fight. The burden has been dispelled. Don't get me wrong, I normally don't mind it on regular enemies where the increase in difficulty isn't so, I guess, advantageous, but for bosses, oh, hello, there we go. The gains are a little bit more significant, to say the least. Let's go ahead and take you out. Oh yeah, they're gonna see me. Yeah, they're both interested. That is not good. Hello. Speaking of, why are there so many goddamn corpses here? Talk about disrespecting the dead. Holy hell. Is everyone everyone okay? Have we all calmed down? Where did the big... Oh, there he is. Okay. Uh, that's not good. I don't like this. I knew it was going to come down to some type of fight. Oh, jeez. Wait a minute. He hasn't even noticed us yet. All right. Uh, <laughs> he's so busy wallowing in the depression of having to patrol this area filled with corpses that he's just sobbing. <laughs> really? All right, well, let's put him out of his misery. He wanted nothing more than to join the dozens of bodies here. God, that's gnarly, man. Disgusting. Another shard for the pile, another balloon for our pockets, and is this our first heavy coin purse for 500 coins? It might be. Oh, and I should probably mention, in between recording sessions, I went back to Harada Estate and essentially killed everyone there, popped a balloon, and got all of that money because I do have some expenses to be paid, and uh, I just wanted to make sure we were well off for that. Um, but that's when I went back to go get the item that was under the bamboo, <laughs> and I felt real, real dumb about that. Probably not as dumb as this guy's about to feel, which unfortunately, we find him mourning over the loss of his noble steed. <laughs> Ah, this poor bastard. I suppose he too must be put out of his misery. <laughs> Wouldn't have had it any other way. Slung over his horse's body. Why not? Let's go sneak on over here. So that's a bit of a heavy-handed hint that the boss that we're about to fight, who is on horseback, might be afraid of firecrackers. 
We have a pellet over here. Go ahead and add that to the pile too. And this is a door we won't be able to access for just a little while. First we'll take on the boss and then we will get the goods. Pretty sure, oh yeah, one last gentleman, blissfully unaware of the carnage happening around him. So I hope he was the last one. It'd be bad if he wasn't. Yeah, so a fairly novel zone. Not really much here for us to pick up on, aside from the inclusion of a remnant between Lord Kuro and Lord Genichiro. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Kuro. I've never seen a stronger example of cowardice disguised as strength in my life. And Genichiro, man, I kind of feel bad for him, as we're going to find out in the future, but for now, we need to set our sights upon this battlefield of hatred. I really don't like this place, but we have a confrontation with the demon, Giobu. I'll be the judge of that, I think. Giobu, while on horseback, is not necessarily the worst in the world. His moves are pretty easily telegraphed. We just have to kind of watch out for when he decides to combo up and try to get some chip damage in when we can. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, you can get back kicked by the horse, which is not fun. Oh, shit. And be careful because you cannot Makiri that. But he does get staggered and we can use the firecrackers to great effect. There we go, come on. Ooh. <laughs> I do love to speak in the third person, but ugh. being able to grapple to him and get in a couple of pot shots is actually pretty valid. So anytime he does that, then definitely capitalize. Ooh. Don't get too greedy. Oh my god. Just a couple more hits. Jesus. No, don't listen to him. You're better than this. Oh. Alright. Oh, the wind up. Jesus. Oh no. I can't believe you would do this. No, it's over. a keeper of the Ashina Castle Gate. But he also drops the mechanical barrel. It appears to have been made to fit perfectly inside the wrist bone of the Shinobi prosthetic. A reinforced core is sure to make a Shinobi's fangs even sharper. There we have it. Our tool upgrade set is now ready for us and we can now go ahead and travel back to the sculptor when we're good and ready. Plus, we have the Reflection of Strength. Now that we have defeated an extraordinary foe, it can be accessed in the Sculptor Idols menu. Very nice. We get plenty of experience for that as well, and we can go and make our way over to this incredible idol. I did hear some crows over there, and we will certainly be making our visit there pronto. But for now, let's go ahead 
and confront a memory so we can enhance our attack power. Yobo Oniwa once led a group of infamous bandits, but was defeated by Ishin, who was so captivated by his show of strength that he took him in as an Ashina warrior. Oniwa would later go on to become Genichiro Ashina's most trusted retainer. Well, not anymore. I honestly felt worse for his horse. Yeah, so we have quite a few skill points, and that is certainly by design. We'll get into that in just a little bit. There's one small errand I want to run here first. It involves running through this jerk right here. Oh, jeez. Please don't. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, there's going to be just a little bit more before we reach the castle gate proper. But if we play our cards just right, let's swap on over to the axe, let those two live, and we're going to head over here and eavesdrop on a couple more of those rats. Ishinoyamayo, the Black Hat Badger, huh? That's a pretty neat name for somebody who probably is going to be fairly underwhelming when we meet him, but certainly a name worth remembering. So what you need to do is sneak up on this guy and take him out as quietly as you can. We'll also just go and grab one of you before fighting. There we go. And they've got big wooden hats, so we're probably going to need to take a hit or two to get them. Nice and busted through. Oh, all right, sure. Here you go. The windup is so great that you just have to, like, lead them into it. With that having been said and done, we are somewhat finished here for the time being. If it seems odd that <laughs> we're just going to kind of leave right after doing that, don't worry. It's all intentional. Um, also, there is a way that you can cheese this fight, and it's kind of funny, I can't really do it super reliably, but what you're supposed to do is run across the battlefield when he spawns in, and you're supposed to jump up into this tower and then do a delayed jump over to this area, and as you know, during boss fights, you can't escape, everything's covered by fog, this little area isn't. And so, Gyobu will try to track you down, and if you go over to this corner, he is going to fling himself and his poor horse off to their death. Perfect for speedruns, but not so perfect for us, because we still wanted to show that off anyways. So I thought that would be funny to show, I just can't do it. They purposefully make it just hard enough and just out of your reach that you can't do it super reliably unless you practice at it over and over, but let's be honest, we're just doing this for fun. <laughs> also... The body has been laid out almost like a warning of sorts. Because if you remember the Harada estate, this is the interior ministry agent. And, um, well, shit. There's another one. This is a little worrisome if you ask me, so I'm just gonna throw that to the back of my mind, grab myself another shard, add it to the pile, and chat it up with our new memorial friend. Cool. I wouldn't exactly put it that way, but good on you for uh, capitalizing on all of this carnage. This man has some very interesting things. If you've not already picked up the firecrackers, I'd highly recommend doing so. The dragon's blood droplet is good, but we have not really explored what dragon rot is about, and we don't have the recovery charm, so kind of useless to have at the moment, but you can definitely purchase it if you want. There are very few of these in the game. What you really want to come here for is the gourd seed, worth 1,000 sen. Please and thank you. Mata 
ご供養を欠かさぬようにの。Yeah, I guess I'll think about it if I really must. Now we can head inside and see who has been killing all of these ministry agents. You. This, my friends, is the Tengu of Ashina. Nezumi ga mo ipiki. Ia, sono me. Ueta okami ga. Kiru mai ni naoki te aru. Nanori! Wa si ni nanoru nanado nai ga. Shinobi wa taigai sou ja. Nanorazu shinioru. Janga. Sono hidari ude. Shinobi gishto wa natsukashi. Naru hodo. Sekiwan no okami ka. Kini ita zo. Naraba. Sekiro. お主をそう呼ぼうお前は何だ<笑>わしはアシナの天狗よ。おお、セキロ。お主もネズミ狩りをせぬか。何だとこのアシナにはネズミが入り込んでおる。うじゃうじゃと我が物顔でな。ネズミもいろいろじゃが。それを片端から。切り捨てるのよどうやらお主にも一切りの才があるその才を磨くのに役立とうどうじゃセキロネズミ狩りをせぬか Sounds good to me 承知したよしセキロよならばこれをくれてやる And with that, he bestows upon us a description of the rats that have snuck into Ashina. Said rats are assassins from Senpu Temple. They are of a short stature, wear bamboo hats, and a number of them have been seen lurking about the castle gate. Hey, wait a minute, that sounds a little familiar. <laughs> Well, my friend, I think you'll be pleased to learn that I've already taken care of that little infestation. <laughs> oh! Nezumi o katta yo ja na! Oh. Yahari o nushi ni wa hitokiri no sai ga aru. Yoshi! Hobi ja! Totte oke! He gives us the Ashina esoteric text. It reads like a history of Ishin Ashina's battles, when young Ishin fought desperately time and time again, polishing his technique in the blood of his enemies. He consolidated his learnings under the Ashina style name for the sake of his clan's dominance. その一時を市場とする剣よネズミ狩りに何よりお主の戦に役立てるがいい Absolutely and I will definitely be taking that into consideration with my many skill points For now we'll grab another pellet of which they are giving us so many and I think I've only used it once We can activate a shortcut And honestly, this is probably one of the less useful ones, just because you don't really have any reason to return back to this little spot. The enemies are still、uh, nice and dead, but we also have a mysterious woman who is just kind of hidden back here, which is some pretty questionable behavior, if you ask me. けれど何も変わりゃしないよ。戦は続き、屍は積まれ、縁差ばかりが満ち満ちる。あんた、考えたことがあるかいそういう縁差がどこに積もっていくのかを
ないだろうないだろうねだからこそあんたもあやつも哀れなことだよ。Yep, all that hatred's gotta go somewhere, and I sure as hell hope it is nowhere near me. さあ、もう行け。ババが何を語ろうが、戦はなくならない。あんたのお役目も変わらない。そういうものだよ。Yep. The old lady has got a point, and we'll definitely take that into consideration for the future. But for right now,、uh, there is one last thing I'd like to do, and it involves scaling the inside of this incredible building. Grab ourselves a light purse and make our way up via the incredible grappling hook ways that Sekiro finds himself utilizing. Oh, hello. What the? <laughs> This is not how I intended on getting up here, but. No matter, we've got ourselves another treasure. And the way that they're presented in this game is just so cool. I mean, you got the butterflies and just the light emanating. But it's another prayer bead, and that is not anything to scoff at. But with that having been said and done, I think that is everything that we need to accomplish here, at least for now. Let's head back and get some of our upgrades in order. We're long overdue. This is one of my favorite parts, is just bringing in all of the goods we've found. Let's go and give a gourd seed. And now we have four to our name, which is nice. But more importantly, let's get this mechanical barrel fixed onto our arm. どれ仕込んでやろうこの仕掛けで何ができる神となるこの仕掛けがあれば筒薬と組み合わせお前さんの忍び騎手の牙をさらに研ぎ澄ますことができる筒薬とは何だ空くり筒と共に使う鉄の <laughs> you know I will because I have been waiting so long to pimp out my arm. Because by the powers invested in the sculptor, he can upgrade our prosthetic tools, and so long as you have the money and the proper materials, you will be able to make that a reality. Keep in mind that because this is more or less a skill tree for your arm, you are going to have to get all of the prerequisite upgrades before you can get any of the cool ones, and that is a very pricey endeavor. It'll probably at least take you into New Game Plus, but. You can unlock further tiered information, and as it stands, as much as I love the spring loaded axe, and for what's coming up, hmm, I do think the spring loaded firecracker is going to be our best bet. It's a little unfortunate because this has such a long wind up that you usually get interrupted versus the spring loaded axe, and.、Uh, We're, we're gonna get both of them, obviously, and I'll try to get through as much of these as I can, but organically in a main playthrough, it's probably not gonna happen. So we'll have、uh, the flame vent in its spring loaded capacity, which I also really like, but that's all we have for now. Absolutely. And I think I might have mentioned this at some point, but eventually you will be able to purchase scrap metal, magnetite,、uh, gunpowder, and things like that. But some of the more unique materials, like the Phantom Kunai, will need to be purchased or otherwise defeating some tougher enemies in order to grab those. So, as far as this is concerned, we can still have access to the lower version of the Shuriken, but the spinning one, I think, is a fair improvement over the tried and true formula. Same thing with the firecracker, we'll go and throw that on, and we should hopefully be fine for now. Let's go and take a look at our new skill tree. 
I am so excited because we now have the Ichimonji available for purchase. This delivers a heavy one-hit overhead sword strike, deals high posture damage, and also recovers one's own posture with a strong forward step. Let's take it. Because this also opens up two things I would very much like. The latent skill Descending Carp that increases damage to enemy posture from all sources. But, if you can, I would recommend grabbing the Ascending Carp, which will increase the damage inflicted to posture when you successfully deflect. If you're good at this, this is the <laughs> next best thing. Now, you can take a look at our next order of business here. Flowing Water is really good because it reduces the amount of damage to posture when attacked by an enemy with a sword. But, we also have the Breath of Nature Light. Recovers posture when you death blow. This one isn't nearly as important because it doesn't recover health like the one that I was looking at before, the other breath of nature, which is right up here. But oh, it's the breath of life, I see. And I was really heavily considering grabbing this, but we'll just, again, like Emma's potency, hold off on that and grab the other carp. Beautiful. Also, if you want, you can get the double Ishimanji, which is pretty cool, but you are left fairly vulnerable when using this, so make sure you time all of your attacks as well as you can, and you should hopefully be just fine. I think that's just about everything here. I can probably spend a little more money, but that Black Hat Badger, he demands the purses. So for right now, let's go and make our way back to the castle gate. Where were we? I suppose we'll have enough time to finish off this little section here, but first... <laughs> Rifle is too long for your britches, I see. We have an alternate path we could take over here. Uh, explore, and oof, almost just fling myself to my death. I think it might go without saying, but it's not an instant kill if you fall into a pit. It'll do about a third of your damage, so I wouldn't worry too much about it unless you're in the heat of battle and you get ganged up on. Oh, and there's that over there. I wonder, how do I reach that? I don't remember. I don't think we grab it from here. I'll just have to remember to drop over from the other side. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, ooh, folks here. Uh, yeah, they're gonna be a little suspicious. I hear some commotion happening over there. Hmm. Well, we don't have to kill these fine gentlemen, but he's gonna go and readjust himself. Here, let's just go ahead and uh, traumatize a man. And then traumatize him with death. Oh my goodness. That is not very nice. Uh, let's take a look at our new spinning shuriken. Essentially, you hold the button in order to activate it, and it'll stay in place, continually hitting an enemy over and over and over. Oh, but that one. That one lived. Oh, the poor doggo. Well, the dog is mad. Owner, not so much. Sorry. Did you really not see any of that happening? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't come as much of a surprise to me, but... Come on, man. Those are your dogs. You gotta go full John Ham, John Wick on me. You know? Both of them at the same time. <laughs> Anytime he stabs him straight through the face, it just it makes me wince. You know? This is where we uh, took on the rats, and I think this might be the only one you have to defeat in order to get the esoteric text. But I don't want to fight those two again. They're mean, they're rude, and I don't like them. We're gonna head over here, and I feel like there's definitely an item and a bunch of lizards around here. I want to make sure that we exhaust all of our options. Yeah, it's up there for sure. There's going to be a couple of different ways to go about this next part, which I'm not looking forward to. Go and snag that, and... Sure, we'll go this way. Is this even worth it? Look at, look at all of that! God! What is this, like the outside of my house? I mean, literally, there's always like little geckos or salamanders that are just hanging out. Um, well, I'm going to leave you all to your own devices. Yeah, because the second you take that, they will all regurgitate <laughs> poison on you, and it's fairly unpleasant. So, live and let live, I suppose. Yeah. 
Well, in case you were mad at me for <laughs> stealthing every single Taro soldier we've seen so far, chances of us needing to fight one legitimately here are fairly high. Another coin purse? Yeah, he is uh, going to town on that mound there. But his friend, he has an identical brother, and I don't know where he is, which worries me. Oh, there's a guy here too. Is he alone? And is that a big man? No, it's not. Well, can I do this? Remember, stealthing from above generally alerts the horde. So if you just do it stealthy... Oh, he's like, something is off in the air. He's not as depressed as his friends. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's that guy. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go and... Oh shit! Somebody saw me. And me oh my god, he was right there! Alright, I'm leaving. Mistakes were made. Someone, oh, there we go. <laughs> He's like, this is really weird, guys. Can you stop messing around? How'd you get the dog to do that? <laughs> oh, no. He's coming. He's coming for my ass. That's not good. Okay, well, while their aggro goes down, let's see if we can find this item here. He's mourning the death of his poor twin brother. I don't blame him, but come on now. Or Echo Sugar, which is good, I think. Would be good if I used it, you know? Um, usually when you're just stealthing from above, it's not really even worth it to pop a candy. But for bosses, I honestly probably should have used Echo during that. It's still fine. Okay, um, let's just, can we please? Take care of this now. Oh, he's he's just hanging. Just like I'm hanging. Wait a minute. Where the Oh, that's the little room in there. Okay. Well, I guess we'll probably just have to fight him legitimately. The second he comes out, he's gonna see me. Or not. Is he stuck? He was stuck! You Dumbo Tron! And he only gave me 38 experience. Can you believe that? The Gaul. Uh oh. This one. He's like, huh, I could have sworn I saw something in the light of day. Must have been the wind. The cataracts are really killing me today. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's always so satisfying to get the stealth kill before you even see the bubble. That's just like pristine timing, you know. Which pales in comparison to me <laughs> having only played this on my backbone until I started recording it. <laughs> Difference is night and day, my friends. And speaking of... Uh, what in the good goddamn hell are you talking about? I don't appreciate secrets, so... Oh my god, really? Out of my <laughs> stealth kill and you get a cheap elbow punch in? Well, thanks for that, man. <sighs> well, I think we'll see what he means once we progress further here. Go and take this one out. And, unsurprisingly, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no. Jesus. This is the blazing bull, and he is quite the raucous animal. My only advice here would be the red gourd and parry him. It might seem a little counterintuitive, but he's only got one bubble to worry about. And he's a maverick, god. It still does damage. But also, remember, he's a wild animal. And he hates fireworks. Use it to your advantage. But don't get too greedy. Ouch. Let's reevaluate here. Oh. Get a couple more shots in. There we go. And... Him in there. 
Your days are numbered. It's over. Man, that is brutal. But on the bright side, it bestows upon us our second rank of Shinobi Medicine, which further increases our healing capabilities. Gentlemen, does this truly come as a surprise to you? Because clearly, you have not thought this through. <laughs> Wow, uh, y'all aren't very good at your jobs, can I just say that much? But ladies and gentlemen, we have now breached the gates proper, and we can go and rest at this hard-earned Sculptor's Idol, which, uh, for some reason, says we've already discovered it. Because normally it would tell us that we found it, but this was... Huh? That's really unusual, and doesn't happen often? Whatever, it doesn't matter. We have a new prayer bead necklace. In Ashina, there is a towering pink ogre of a man, said to have gone red-eyed and run amok before he was long shut away in a forsaken dungeon. Uh, yeah, that actually sounds like something I want little to nothing to do with. Well, before we end things off, let's go and speak to this poor old woman who appears to be praying. <laughs> Man, how does your voice not get killed after a performance like that? That is really impressive. <sighs> in order to join this poor woman in prayer, we need to give up our balloons of wealth. But trust me, it'll be worth it. Let's do it. She offers us Ungo's sugar, which isn't the greatest trade, but you know what? I'll take it. Do it one more time. We get ourselves a slightly more effective sugar. Now, one last go of things gives us the ultimate prize. We get divine confetti. <laughs> the divine child, huh? Well, ladies and gentlemen, join me here next time in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice so that we can eventually start taking the castle and hopefully rescuing Lord Kuro. Chances are we'll probably not finish this area in the next episode, but hopefully we'll get close enough to the point where we'll be able to do some other things, fight some other mini-bosses, and perhaps at some point return to the Harada Estate. I know it hasn't been long since we left, but we have a number of upgrades that I think is going to make our time just a little better. So take it easy, everybody, and I hope to see you here next time.